All right, guys, I have another thrift haul. I went with my three kids and I was not able to look through every single item in the store. I did a browse is what I would call it. So let's get started. This is all vintage, but one modern piece that I could not leave behind. So without further ado, here is the first 80s item I got. Major acid wash, um, straight leg, some jeans. This is Susan Bristol. She had a denim line called Bristol Blues. And there is like no patch or anything. They're just pretty standard. High rise jeans. They look like a boyfriend fit. And I don't see, where's the size tag? It is made in the USA. Oh, actually they're men's, I think, 32 by 32. Um, I don't know if I'll sell them as men's or women's or both. We'll see. I might try them on actually and model them to hopefully help them sell. Here is a pair of men's vintage Levi slacks trousers. This is like rockabilly vibes. Um, I've heard from another reseller that they pick up Rustler, like with an R, and sell them for like $60, $70. And I pass them all the time because I thought they were like old man pants. <laughs> <laughs> like my grandpa used to wear those back in the day. Uh, but these are some Levi's, the black and gold label or tab as you may say. The number on side, the inside rivet is 526. I can't remember it. It's, I gotta do a little bit more research, but I think these are the Instapress or whatever. They don't have the press written here on the inside. The only Levi tag is uh, 36 by 34 which is a great size or maybe it's a 35 but there is this I'll have to do a little bit of research to find out the date if you guys are an expert feel free to put it in the comments below but um, when I looked these up super quick it looked like $16 to 50 they were all over the place but uh, pants were 350 or jeans are 350 I don't know if the slacks were 350 as well all right I got a, a 90s maybe late 80s uh, handmade quilted tree skirt for Christmas it is reversible I did like the patchwork mixed prints and then the other side has a cute little ornament uh, novelty print that was a dollar if I did not mention here is the one modern piece I got because I could not leave sequins behind. I do well selling sequins, even if it's missing a few, it doesn't really seem to bother buyers. But this is Torrid, and it is a like a black and an iridescent sequence zip-up jacket. It's pretty heavy. Like I would say this is over two pounds. It is lined. It's a two. I'm not sure what two is equivalent to, but I love this. And it even like has a little jingle. Next is a kid's t-shirt that I think is from the late 90s, but I picked it up because it's a kid's extra large 1416, and I think that's like a, a women's small, and I'm going to sell it as an adult small. I just note that in the description with measurements, I don't even think it'll fit on my <laughs> chest, but I like the cute little graphic for Camp Snoopy, Minnesota. It's on a Fruit of the Loom best tag there. It is double stitched, but... There is light cracking, however, I just love the large graphic. Might sell it as like a baby tee. This one is probably my favorite. It's my favorite, and it may be my highest item as far as what I can sell it for. This is what I believe to be a 1940s silk kimono. It's got, it's hand stitched with this really cool dragon and then it has and this is the back and then it has the embroidery on the sleeve of some flames and I didn't realize it but the front also has dragons on each side now it is missing the sash I do have some ribbon I may just sell it as is as like a duster I think this is long as well I think somebody could do really, like, could like style this and belt it and look really cute and wear it out on the streets. Like again, I saw a lot of my stuff, New York City or LA's where the majority of my buyers seem to be. 
Okay, so I believe this is 1940s. I found one just like it on eBay. Um, I didn't look at the description to see the condition of theirs. Mine is like stain free, whole like flaw free. It is missing the sash. So there originally was an acetate liner, I think, um, that is no longer here. But again, I didn't even know it was missing. I just saw that somebody else had a liner with theirs. But uh, they priced, again, I don't know if I told you guys, but they priced theirs at $25, which blows my mind because I'll list this for at least $75. Um, you know, some people just really underprice their vintage and I'm not one of those people. <laughs> not, not gonna be me. Um, here is just a classic piece. It's just a nice denim overall dress with the patch pockets. I do like that this one has a buckle. Looks more like a belt than the typical rivet that you would see on overalls. Again, very plain layering like pinafore style. It is a 90s large and I will probably list this for 40 to 50. I'm trying a new thing where I'm raising my prices, but then I'm gonna run a sale, like a 20, 30% off sale and see, because again, um, my store, I haven't just been consistent. And so my sales are drastically down from previous years. Here's an 80s uh, midi patchwork skirt. I really like this one. It's not super, super small. Typically when I find these, they're like an extra small. But this is a vintage 1112, and I think this is like an 8, maybe down to a 6. But the thing I love about this one is the back has the V. It's not like quite a slit. It's a vent, but it has the button detail that are just accents. So yeah, mid-calf length. And we are almost done. Again, like this was not... A big haul by any means. This is a place I go to weekly and so I don't expect to get tons and tons of stuff. Here we have a navy windbreaker but what made me get it was it's like a 90s I think like 90s Microsoft uh, zip up large. It has uh, slit pockets and it's vented in the back. Nothing fancy but I think that technology stuff uh, vintage can do well to a certain buyer and then my last item is a 90s slash y2k mini skirt looks like a skirt I may try this on and model it uh, it is really cute with the fun vertical stripes of blues and greens and it has shorts underneath so you don't have to worry about bending over and people uh, seeing your, your underwear. There's the tag. I'm gonna lean more towards 90s because this is like a paper. It's a Junior's 13, which is probably a modern eight. I don't know, it may be too small for my waist, we'll see. But super cute. This is something that would probably sell on Depop. I'll list it for 35 and we'll see what happens. But anyways, that is my short and sweet haul. Hope you guys have a great weekend and I'll see you on my next video. Bye.